What up, Rivet Crew? Happy Tuesday. Doing our weekly interval workout today. We have three four minute air reps with a very generous four minute rest in between each one, right? So we can kind of rest and recover and get that heart rate down a little bit. So, goal today is to move for as much of the four minutes as we can in each hand wrap, right? Three, two, one, go. Just try to keep moving for the full four minutes. Uh, we have some calories on the rower, we have some uh, burpees, and we have some gymnastics movements to work on today. As you can see, we have a descending rep scheme, right? That first uh, first AMRAP is 27, 27, 27. Bigger sets, the middle one is 21, 21, 21. And our last AMRAP of the day is a mere 15, 15, and 15, so smaller sets. Hopefully a faster cycling time as we go through each one. And then also our gymnastics movement changes in each one. As you can see, the first one is chest to bar pull-ups, pretty challenging there. Um, then we have some toes to bar in the second AMRAP. And then the third AMRAP is uh, kind of standard chin over bar, uh, probably kipping pull-ups for most of us today. So a little less challenging than the last one, which is good because you know, you're gonna be a little bit fatigued from the first two there. But again, the goal today inside each AMRAP is to keep moving for the full four minutes. I mean, four minutes isn't a big window. It's not a full on sprint, uh, it's obviously, but you know, you gotta strategize and do a thing. How can I keep moving forward? So let's talk about the movements. We have the row. Uh, we wanna go strong on the row. Um, and my, my tip for you there is to push, not pull, right? We have that upper body pulling stuff going on with our gymnastics. So let's really, as always, focus on really pushing hard with the legs in the row, right? Use those legs not the upper body, push, not pull. Keep those heels down. Um, if the catch should be should lean lightly forward to get that really hard uh, push with the legs, open up the hips, and then finish with just that little easy pull at the end. So you gotta push on the rower. Um, get through the rower, get on the burpees. Um, go through the burpees in such a way that again, you keep moving and sets you up for doing well on the gymnastics at the end of the uh, AMRAP. So burpees, remember, my biggest thing is remember to breathe. Breathe at the top and then breathe at the bottom. This tends to help people kind of move at a more steady pace. You don't have to keep stopping every couple of burpees and catching your breath. So breathe at the top, breathe at the bottom, try to keep moving, work through that set, and get to the gymnastics movement at the end of each AMRAP and try to get as many as you can. On the first AMRAP, probably, most people I think are gonna just get to the chest where I pull up and try to get a few in before the timer goes. Uh, the second one, the toes to bar, you probably stand a pretty good chance of making a good big dent in that set, and maybe back to the rower if, you, if you're pretty quick. And then definitely on the third end wrap, you should get definitely get back to the rower and maybe back to that second set of burpees. Um, so yeah, all that to look forward to. What other tips do I have for you today? Um, oh yeah, so we talked about push, not pull with the legs on the rower. And then as far as legs on the gymnastics movements, let's try to keep them together. Um, in the warm-up today, I have both hollow rocks and supermans for you, right? We're talking about flexion and extension. So we're getting the feel for keeping that body nice and tight, specifically the midline, very helpful with our gymnastics movements. And then also, yeah, when we do those, we keep those heels together, keep the legs together, keep the toes pointed, that keeps, helps keep tension throughout the lower part of the body. Keep that in mind when you're doing your toes to bar, chest to bar pull-ups and kipping pull-ups today. You wanna keep those feet together, you know? And I bring this up in part because when you're doing your burpees, your feet are gonna be further apart, right? So gymnastics, yeah, keep those heels glued together, have those legs work as one unit together, helps keep more tension, makes you more efficient in the gymnastics movements. Um, and finally, your finisher today, your extra credit if you see fit, is some gymnastics strength work, strength and capacity. Every minute on a minute for 10 minutes, I want you to start each minute by doing five strict handstand push-ups. Scale as necessary, do those five. And then in the remainder of the minute, do as many GHD sit-ups as you can. Wait for the next minute to start, same thing. Start it, five strict handstand push-ups, and then as many GHD sit-ups as you can. If you're not quite there with the GHDs yet, uh, these can be um, scaled down to ab mass sit-ups, of course, um, or hanging leg raises is another good option. All right, get after it, guys. Have a good time, have fun, work hard. Talk to you tomorrow.